Hi, I'm David Reevely with Post Media, and I'm here talking about Mackenzie King and Jack Bear with Leslie Maitland, the past president of Heritage Ottawa. You've brought us to this spot to talk about one of the most striking things that the Graber Plan did for this city. Why right here? Right here because this is a place that epitomizes the impact of Grabe's uh, intentions to uh, make Ottawa the dignified capital city that Mackenzie King wanted it to be. He brought to Ottawa, which otherwise was a medium-sized industrial town with some government, the ideas of contemporary zoning. These were the mid-20th century ideas that were just becoming current, and his particular one was the removal of rail lines from the city core. And this was the era of the steam trains, so we're talking about really dirty, really noisy, and really dangerous trains intermixed with residential streets. And the dirt and the soot and the air pollution were pretty awful. So what he did was encourage the removal of the rail lines, which meant that all the downtown industries had to move out too. The plan was to put a rail, new railway station out in Alta Vista, where the new railway station is now. So when we look down here, down the Rideau Canal, we're looking at, on the east side, we're looking at where the rail lines went into town, mm -hmm. right to the back of the old Union Station. So with the removal of the rail lines, this opened up all of this side of the canal for what was then considered the most avant-garde thing, parkways for cars. Mm -hmm. So this is where Grabe really cemented in Ottawa's addiction to the automobile. 70 years ago, let's say, what, what would we have been standing on right here on the spot? How many lines were there and what do they carry? Oh, at this point, there were any number of lines and they were narrowing down to about the six or seven lines that went into the back of the train station. We were also looking at a canal that was in fact an industrial canal. It had been built by the military. It was used for industrial transportation. The recreational function that we enjoy now was unknown at the time. It was dirty, it was polluted, it was, this was a pretty unpleasant part of town. And then over where we see the university is where light, uh, there was a lot of light industry. So all of that went out and it was replaced by, as we can see here, Parkway, university and government so it's and and the canal as a consequence of all of these urban improvements people looked at it and said hey that's kind of beautiful now that it's cleaned up let's try skating on it so that was one of the unintended consequences of Grabe's very innovative ideas of the mid not 20th century